in this session i'm going to create a login form okay so before that we have to write some global css so in uh, you can go to the style.css file and i'm telling for html and for body the height will be 100 percentage and also if it has any additional margin i'm making it as a zero okay so that is done coming to the login page okay coming to the login page i have to create a form first okay so i'm creating a form then first you have to add the card component so go to prime ng website so we are using prime ng for everything so it will be more easy we don't have to create everything manually so you can search for the card component and import this one and add in the module we only have one module so you can add it in the app dot module add that in the imports array then you will get a sample structure okay so here you can see a p card with a header title so i'm just copying that one and adding it in the adding inside the form and let's see whether it is showing so the p card is showing like that and we don't need this much width for the p card so for that i'm just adding a style here you can add a style class also that we will refactor later now i am just adding the width and i am telling it's a 360 px okay and also we have to make this card into um, vertically and horizontally center okay so for that in the app.component.html you can go here and you can tell it's a justify content center in the, from the prime flex you will get uh, you know some built-in css you don't have to write our own css you will get a built-in css so i am writing align items center means it will send up vertically and you have to give the height of in the whole window width this login form is aligned center now then go to the login form component.html you can add the header as login then i am going to create a div class equal to field adding a label for equal to email i'm mentioning it's an email the next thing we have to add an input element for, right for the input element you have to import the input component from the prime ng so go to the prime ng and search for input element so input text component you have to import input text module so go to the app.module.ts file add the input text module in the import section since input text module is a form element you have to either use a ng model or form control name that is either use a forms module or the reactive forms module here now i am going to implement the reactive forms module so whenever you are using any form element you have to import corresponding reactive forms module or the forms module from the angular forms okay so i'm using reactive forms module adding it here okay then go to the html file you will have a sample you know input box which having a form control name so here i am adding an input with the text so my input text p input text and form control name i am telling it as an email okay and i am giving a class which is from the prime flex w full it should take the full width 
now also i am give, giving the name as the email and also i am giving the placeholder as type your email okay so once that is done since we are defining the form control name we have to add this variable in the ts file okay go to ts file so we are going to create a form using the form builder angular form builder so i am giving a name as login form i'm adding a constructor here which will inject the form builder so fb and i am adding form builder here okay and here i am going to create a login using the form builder so this dot fb which is referred as a form builder here and fb dot group and you can add the field name so my field name is email which is initially is an empty value so it, it is an array which has the initial value okay and i have to tell the validation also as a second array if it is only one you don't have to mention an, an array so here i'm going to add a validation validators dot required and also the validators dot email okay and my second field is password and the value is empty initially and it only have a one validators that is validators dot required if you want to add you can add validators dot pattern so you can mention the password should be like this it should accept only these characters okay so i created the login form and i have to add this login form in the login form component right so for that you can mention a form group and i am giving the name login form here so whichever the form group you have created that needs to be added here okay and the form control name email is also added the next the similar way you have to add a password so a field then password then it should be password then here it's a text instead of text it should be a password right we are not you are you said not supposed to see the uh, characters here again changing to password type your password so the two form is done okay the next thing is you have to add a button here so for adding the button you have to add the button component so go to prime ng website search for the button component add the module so for that go to the app.module.ts file add the module from here add it in the imports array and here you can add the button so for adding the button you can see there will be a sample with a p button so i'm just adding a p button and i'm telling the label as sign in i'm giving the style class as w full so for input element we can mention with the class and for the p button we have to mention the style class okay it's based on the component you are using hmm? and also style class is added uh, the label is also added so the button is ready the next thing is you have to add if it is not a member you have to show a link to the register form okay so i'm just giving a div and adding a class and telling margin top is two so it's a class from the prime flex and i'm adding if it is not a member then question mark i'm telling an anger tag and in order to root to the in order to add the root you have to give instead of href you have to give the router link here so it will go to the routing we have created a routing.ts file right so it will go to that url so i'm giving register so user enters register 
it should load to the register component so if i'm adding a router link as register here okay so the form design of the login is done okay now you can see email password then not a member register so if i click on the register it is going to the register form so register works okay i'm going back and now we have to do the validation now email if i type something you know you have to add the validation validation dot required is there the validation is also there but you have to add a validation message here okay so for that going here and we have to add a validation message under this input right so i'm giving a small element and i'm saying ng if so from the login form you have to take the control of the email so either what you can do is you can see login form dot controls of email dot is sorry dot invalid okay then you have to show some text something like that you can mention here you can add and and again you have to add you know these many things and and then it is dirty or if you say touch the form so login form dot touched then you have to mention a div and i'm telling again you know if it is ng if so the email have two things one is required error and one if one if it is not an email not a proper email okay so two things are there so you have to add the two conditions so it is getting more lengthier right so if you want you can remove from here and in the component dot uh, ts file what you can do is you can create a function get email and it is just a function sorry and it returns this so it return this dot login form dot controls of email so to make you know html more uh, easier to read more readable the similar way i'm just adding the password as well it's not really required but just for more readable purpose no this one you can replace with email see so here email dot dirty here also here email dot dirty okay and also i am adding some more conditions so i am adding to dev and i am telling if it is required email is required if it is not the email error then you have to show email should be valid and also i am adding a class which is block p error okay the similar way you have to add for the paragraph as well i'm just adding so i hope you understood so under the input you can add a small password dirty touch then you have to show password errors required then password is required so and here you can see email should be valid so if i'm adding at then dot the error is going so it is not added email is required so here also if i remove password is required and also i am adding one more condition if the button is uh, if the form is invalid the button should be disabled so you can give for the button you can give a condition disabled equal to our form name as login sorry login form dot invalid so that's it now our form is done 